Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I was asked if I could do a 22 things I've learned in 22 years, like 22 lessons I've learned in 22 years. And I was like, you know what? Like, not everybody knows me. Like, I mean, I've watched plenty of people on YouTube and I just like to learn a little bit more about them because it's fun knowing who you're watching on a daily basis or whenever or once a month, whatever. So I was like, you know what? This will be a really fun video because I've learned a lot of life <laughs> a lot of life, huh? I've learned a lot of life lessons in 22 years of living. So um, I thought this would be a lot of fun. So I was more than happy to do it. So if you're interested in seeing the 22 things I've learned in 22 years, then please keep on watching. Okay, so everything is on my phone. Like I took notes. I like jotted down everything that I wanted to say in notes, but it's all on my notes on my phone because that's like my life, literally. So the first thing I have is if you are dieting, do not let yourself go out of a five pound goal. So, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. So I've been on a diet like my entire life, like literally my entire life. I started modeling when I was younger and like ever since then, like that was in high school-ish, like the beginning of high school, like that's kind of when I got into it. I was younger, maybe like 14, 15. So ever since then, I have like constantly been on a diet. And if there's one thing I've learned is if you go out of a five pound goal of like what you want to weigh, then it's all over. Once you get past five pounds, you're like, you know what? Let me just eat the cookies. Let me just, you know, I want that burrito. I have to have Chipotle today, whatever. You just like get yourself in a funk of like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose that five pounds. So if you let yourself stay between like, say you gained two pounds, you're like, okay, two pounds, <sighs> not a big deal, it's fine. Like, stay within five pounds if you're dieting. This does not regard to everybody, but this is something that I've learned within myself and my own dieting. Just stay between a five pound goal. Okay, number two, save every phone you've ever owned. So I have two iPhones, three iPhones. I have, this is my current phone, this one. This cute one. This is my current phone. I've had the Envy, I've had flip phones, I've had, I had a, do a gold razor at one point in my life. I have every single one of them because I love going back and looking at everything on them. I, for some reason, that is just like the best thing in the entire world to me is like going on an old phone and like looking at everything you like texted and took pictures of. Just save them because it's so funny looking back. Number three, save your money, put X amount of money away, but still live your life. So, I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory, but this was something like that I didn't, well, I mean, I did when I was younger, but I didn't do, like, I wish I would have done more because like, you know, I used to go out a lot and whatever and just kind of blow money. I like to shop. I have a spending problem. Always will, always have. It's just never ending. So, but still like put X amount away. Like, that's exactly what I do now. Like, I still live my life, I still spend money, I still enjoy myself, but at the end of the day, I put X amount away and I do that every week. So, it's a great little tip to do, because it stacks. You don't realize, like, even if you put, like, 50 bucks away for the next, like, three weeks, you're gonna have $150. So, put that away, put it towards, like, a rainy day, put it in the savings account that you, you know, never touch. So just do something like that and you'll have a nice little stash just sitting there waiting for you for someday when you like actually need it. If something makes you happy, then go and do it. This is like so true. And this like, depending on who you are, like this, you have to really like be one with this in yourself because not like you might believe it because it kind of sounds like cliche, cliche. Cliche, cliche, I don't know, what, whatever. Yeah, everybody knows what I'm saying. So it kind of sounds, what I, it sounds like something that like, I can't, I can't even get myself out of this. Whatever, just do what makes you happy. Date it, love it, be it, spend it, what, whatever. Like whatever it is, just do what makes you happy. We let a lot of people get into our heads about like decisions we make, people we date, um, you know, to buy something big, like a different car, a different this, a different that, like even like stupid little things. We let everybody's opinion get in our head and 
we all don't have the same happiness scale. We all have different desires, we all have different needs, we're all not the same person, which makes us all different and unique. So don't listen to everyone and their opinions because what they think is important to them is not important to you and vice versa. So just be yourself and just make sure you're happy with your decisions and not a decision that somebody else is telling an opinion of so that you change your mind on it. Okay, number five. Take a bunch of pictures and selfies. This kind of goes along with like what I said about my phones. Like I have a lot of pictures in my phone right now. How many? I have 10,708 pictures in my phone right now. And you know, one day I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna go through every single one of them. Because it's so fun to like look at yourself, like especially for me, like cause I like makeup and whatever. Like, I've changed a lot throughout the years, even from like a year from like now, I'm gonna be completely different. And it's fun to like look back and be like, wow, why did I do that? Or why did I put my hair up like that? Or whatever, like I took pictures of this, I took pictures of that, or I was friends with this one and now I'm not friends with this one, whatever. It's just interesting to see like how you change over the years and what you take pictures of and what you're doing and et cetera, because you know, our minds are so busy, caught up in life that we forget, so. It's fun to just look back and reflect. Number six, life is precious, don't take anyone for granted. Um, personally, this one hits like really, really at home for me because I lost somebody that was really close to me at a, like a pretty young age. So, I mean, just the people that you love and you care about, just make sure that they know you love and care about them on a regular basis, you know, like don't, say anything that you don't mean to people. And I know that's like, that sounds like so hard. Cause I guess, you know, we get caught up in things and like you fight with somebody, whatever, like, but just don't say anything you really don't mean and try to be loving all the time for the people that you really do love because you just don't know. Nowadays, especially like there's, there's so many things out there. We just, there's freak accidents that happen, there's diseases, there's, you know, everything under the sun, and you really just don't know when your last day is gonna be with somebody, and that's really just it. Just make sure you tell everybody that you love and you care about, like, how much you love them. I mean, not, like, excessively, like, every single day, like, every second, like, I love you, I love you, I love you, but just make sure, you know, you're letting the people know that you love, that you love them and you care about them. So, yeah. Okay. Number seven, don't become stagnant with growing. So this one is kind of self-explanatory too. I mean, just make sure you're always growing as a person, as you know, as an individual, as an artist, as whatever you are in this entire world, just always know that you can learn so many more skills and just keep expanding on your own horizons. And I learned this, I'm still kind of learning this now, like, every single day actually because I kind of realized things about myself that I didn't really realize a few years back so I'm constantly growing as a person which is awesome because if you're not growing then you're you know you're staying you should be going up so number eight find your flaws and embrace them find your flaws and embrace number them. nine <laughs> this is a good one wear your retainer wear your retainer wear it Wear it, put it in your mouth at night and wear it and sleep with it and do not take it out. Just don't, just don't do it. Don't do it. Mama paid for those teeth to be straight for a reason and wear the retainer, wear it. Wear it, wear it. I wear mine every night, every night. I even take it on vacation. That's how crazy I am. I take it on vacation. I don't miss a night. Number 10, watch who you tell your business to. 50% of people care and the other 50% are just curious. Boom. We love it. Own your style, own it. Ooh. what was that? Sorry, got a text. Okay, own your style. When I was in high school, I used to wear some really interesting things, but not interesting in a weird way, like things that I just really liked, like these. These are my glitter Uggs. 
Do you know how many people used to look me up and down? Even when I still wear the nap, people look me up and down. They're like, is she flying to the moon tomorrow? Like, where is she going? She looks like a space cadet. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that and it's like, so annoying. Like, it's like, why? Why? Like, who cares? But I used to let it bother me and I wish I didn't because you are you. Who cares if the person down the street is so insecure about themselves that they're looking you up and down and they have the ugliest boots on, but they're looking at your boots and then you're feeling like you want to crawl into your turtle shell and you're like, why am I wearing these boots? Uh, like, no, no, own your style. <coughs> own, <coughs> oh my God, own your style, own whatever you wear and you know, stretch your stuff, strut your stuff. Number 12, don't spend so much time on social media. I know when you get that little buzz on your phone and you just wanna know what that Facebook picture is that tags you, we're all guilty of it. We are so guilty, so guilty. Everyone in the world is so guilty of this, especially our generation. I mean like 22 and a couple of years older and like every year below us because now even like nine year olds have phones and they're on social media and it's like frightening. But be in the moment. I can't tell you how many people I've sat across at like restaurants, like anywhere, like anywhere I go, like coffee, like anything. There's been so many people I sit across from them and they're on their phone and I'm like, I'm like, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? And they're like, they don't even realize like, oh yeah, I'm sitting across from you. Duh, duh, we're getting coffee for a reason, duh. So just be in the moment, enjoy now. The Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the LinkedIn, the, the mail, everything can wait, everything can wait. There is a time and a place. Number 13, go with your gut instinct. This, I mean, I'm sure everyone says this, like go with your gut and you know, you hear it all the time and you're just like, yeah, 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 okay. Go with it, go with it. If your gut is telling you like, this situation is weird. This person is weird. Something, anything, anything in the entire world. When you get that gut instinct, you know what it is. It's like that real funny feeling like right up in there. Go with it, go with it because it's always right. And it takes a lot to really realize it within yourself that it's right. And it's, you gotta come almost back down to earth because a lot of us run from that gutting. <laughs> can't talk. A lot of us run from that gut instinct and we go a different way. And like, I believe in destiny. So you're going against your destiny because your gut, your gut feeling is there for a reason. Like it's sitting there and it's putting off the lights. It's like, listen to me, listen, hi, hi, here I am down here, you know, listen to me. They're weird, they're shady. This isn't a good situation. Get out now. It's right, it is right. Okay, number 15, drink a lot of water. I learned this at a really young age and I, this is a great lesson. This is such a great lesson. I drink so much water. I love water. Like I literally, I think I go through at least a case of water a day. Like, and I buy the big cases. Like I got the 24 pack. I don't got no six pack. I don't got no 12 pack. I got the 24, 24 of those suckers and I drink so much water and people always ask me how I have like really clear skin. I mean, it's totally because of the nerium. It's, it's the nerium. I know that for sure, but the water helps. The water just like bounces out your entire body, the, you know, your skin, everything about it, your clarity, your mind, everything feels better because the water is going through your body and it's making everything, it's flushing everything out of your system. The toxins just, your digestive system, everything is running better. So drink a lot of water. I know this is hard for people and I personally don't understand it because I love water, but at least drink two bottles a day. If you're a beginner. Number 16, do not regret or feel bad about getting rid of toxic people in your life, whether it is friends or family. This is a big one. This is a really big one because nobody has time to have somebody that's toxic in their life. Like life is short. You only have this one go around. Live it right. Live it with people that love you, that support you, that are there for you. Do not, you know, 
be friends with the person that's secretly hating on you all the time. Do not have, you know, do not associate with that family member that's never there for you. That's, you know, lurk, lingering in the background. Like, no, do not. If they're toxic for your life, do not do it. Do not do it. Do not waste your time. Number 17, always wear sunscreen and take care of your skin. This is a big one. I am very big on this because I love skincare. I am all about skincare, not just face, I everything about the body. I love skincare. I do. Like you only have, <laughs> this is going to sound, one sack of skin. Like this is all, you only get this once. Like take care of it. Put the sunscreen on. I know I am such, <sighs> I do this. I do. I sit, you know, with the oil in the summer and bake myself like no other, you know, let the sun raise, whatever. But over the last couple years of my life, especially being in the skincare industry, I've learned how bad that is for you. And you know, we have our moments like all summer this summer, <laughs> that sounded weird, all summer last summer, I guess that's a better way to put it. I don't even know, whatever. Like this, 2015, June, July, and August. I didn't really sit in the sun that much. I, you know, I sat in the sun a little bit, like, you know, with the oil, what, maybe like once a week because it's hard. You know, you want to have the nice glow and, you know, you want to just like lay there, have a nice cold drink, enjoy the pool and just, you know, take it all in. But it's so bad for you. Just make sure you're putting the sunscreen on. Just put something high on because you still get tan from it. You do. I mean, not as fast as maybe, you know, the freaking baby oil, but you do get tan. So just put the SPF on. It's so important. So, so, so important. And I'm so happy that I just learned this lesson. I mean, over the last couple of years, I mean, I wish I would have learned it sooner. Like when I was 15, when I was really like every day laying outside in the sun, but sorry, as long as I can help somebody else realize it, that I'm okay. Number 18, don't settle for anything in your life, whether it's happiness, love, job, or passion. Settling is never in style and it's never going to be in style. Like, never, never. Do not settle for anything. Do Number not. 19, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> one of my favorites. You teach people how to treat you. Mm. Oh, <laughs> this, is a, this is just a good one. Like, I wish I would have learned this like, five to seven years back because I personally have put up with a lot of not so good things in my life. And, you know, I mean, I guess that comes with being young and naive and et cetera, et cetera. And I still, you know, I'm learning this every single day, but I really wish I would have learned it sooner than later because you do, you teach people how to treat 20. Talk to everyone, literally talk to everyone. Like I have learned so much about people everywhere. I talk to people at the grocery store. I talk to people in the food store, <laughs> food store in the grocery store. That's the same thing, Brianna, duh. I talk to people in the food store. I talk to people in the mall. I talk to people at, you know, the coffee counter. I talk to people at the jewelry counter. I talk to everyone. I love talking to people. I'm a people person. I love it. I've always had jobs that are involved with people. I've worked in customer service. I've worked as a waitress. I've worked with elderly. I've worked with kids. I've worked with all of it. It is so fun to talk to people because you learn so much about people. Number 21, try your hardest to wake up early. I know this is like so hard. I mean, especially right now because in New Jersey, like it gets dark really early and you get in like a funk and it's gonna be winter even though it really feels like it's spring right now. It's gonna be winter and when it's snowing outside and you just wanna like lay in your bed and be snuggled in and like eat and sleep and relax and whatever and you just wanna sleep in, it's really hard, I know, I know. I've been there, I've done it like millions upon millions upon millions of times. But the best thing in the world is like waking up early to get things accomplished. Like if you have things you need to do, if you have errands you need to run, if you have whatever, even just like getting up in the morning, like an hour earlier, just to like sit down and like make yourself breakfast and just like have that cup of coffee and just sip it like real slow, real slow and just take in the morning. It's like, it's crazy how you'll just be like, wow, life is great. Life is really great. 
I especially like to do this in the summertime when it's like bright early, like spring, summer, when it's like nice out, go take a walk. Like just take in some air. It's, it's okay. nice. And number 22, health is wealth. I mean, this is like self-explanatory, but it really is. And I feel like you really don't learn this lesson until you're a little bit older. I mean, not like old, like as if I'm not, I'm not old, I'm 22, but you don't really learn this until you're like, maybe like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, like around there, like those ages, like obviously when you're 14, you don't really get it, but health really is wealth. And I wish I would have known that like younger in life because you know, we take things for granted a lot of the time and I've watched, you know, people take things for granted and just to be able to wake up and like be able to walk around and like see something and just smell something like it's really like you don't realize it every single day because you know you're just like caught up in life and I do it myself I just get so caught up but when you take a minute to just realize like how lucky you are just to be healthy and just be able to live your life and you wake up every day it changes your entire like aspect on everything you like walk around like oh my god like I'm so lucky because you are you're very very lucky to just wake up and just have your health that's really all that matters in life is just to be healthy and have people around you that are healthy your friends family like health is okay good. so that is the 1 to 22 things that I've learned in 22 years of living if you enjoyed this video then please be sure to give it a thumbs up I would love to do some more things like this just so like everybody kind of knows who I am as a person if that makes sense yeah, like who I am as a person and you know, what I kind of believe in and things that I've gone through in my own life. And like I said, if I can ever help somebody else realize it, then that is like the best thing in the world to me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other requested videos, then I would love, love, love to hear them. So you can message me directly on Instagram or you can comment on this video below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys soon.